As part of the interview process, the examination exercise organized by the state government is being championed by the Post-Primary School Service Commission and Anambra State Universal Basic Education Board. Under the PPSSC, areas of recruitment include English language, mathematics, physics, chemistry, and biology, while ASUBEB core areas include primary education, early childhood education, special education, and adult education, as well as some core subjects. When the ABS arrived Community Secondary School or UNO, slated for candidates from Navy Zone. As at 11 in the morning, prospective candidates were seen loitering, chattering, reading, and waiting for the exams to commence. The principal of the school, Lady Ifoma Iketuonye, disclosed that the exam that was yet to commence was due to some hitches being experienced, saying that the examination papers would soon arrive. We were told the exams will start by 10 a.m., but you know that usually exams of this nature must have some bottlenecks because of logistics. The zonal director for Nehwi Zone has gone to St. John of God to meet with the management of the Post-Primary School Service Commission so that they will make arrangements for the question papers for these exams. One of the candidates at the Okuno school, Mrs. Adaku Obike, said that she applied to teach mathematics but lamented that the scheduled time for the exam was not adhered to, a situation she stressed as robbed her of other engagements for the day. I'm not a fence anyway. It's like everything somehow is scattered because some people, their needs, their needs were not shortlisted for the exam. And not only that, the whole thing was we are missed up. Some people do not locate their, their examination centers and so on. And now it is already past 11, going to 12. No preparation. There is no church, no, no preparation anyways. I can't you see people scattered. No, nothing is happening. And the, the people who came for the examination. We don't know what and what to do. The situation was similar at St. John of God Secondary School, Oka, where prospective teachers were duly seated in their assigned classes, waiting for the commencement of the exam as at 12 noon. Even as the principal of the school, Lady Antonia Waneke, said that there was the case of misplacement of numbers on the list and expressed optimism that things will improve in another recruitment badge. Many of the candidates who were qualified, we are here. Most of them, they don't, they don't, they don't see their number in the, in the, on the roll. But they, we are told that as long as they, are, that they are involved in the, in the discipline, that they should take the exam in the hall. But unfortunately, I'm, um, personally, I'm not uh, happy with the, with the whole thing, because, uh, because uh, some people, some, some people who are supposed to be here, are not here, and some who are here. They say that their, their name are not, did not appear. The arrangement, uh, I'm, not, I'm not okay with the arrangement of everything. At Igwebike Grammar School, Oka, the ABS saw some people outside the premises while others were already seated writing the exams. When asked why it was so, the executive chairman of Anambra State Basic Education Board, Nzemeka Olisa, revealed that most people who are not qualified to take the exam, either for not having the certificate requirement or age barrier, say that the ASUBEB has about 8 centers in all, with about 12,000 applicants, out of which over 7,000 were shortlisted for the screening. While insisting that the selection process is purely on merit, the ASUBEB chairman pointing out that the Anambra state government has invested so much in order to ensure that only the best candidates emerge. The exercise is smooth because we made every arrangement, but we have some uh, problems. One is that our advertisement specifically mentioned the areas we want to employ teachers primary education, early childhood education, special education, and, uh, and uh, adult education. In addition to that, there are some of these subjects that are taught in the primary school. English combination, Igbo combination. These are core subjects. Those core subjects that are taught in the, in the system, we want to give them opportunity. There are subjects that are not taught in the primary school. I'll give you an example. For somebody who read business education and accounting, 
It's not taught in primary school. So there is no need uh, increasing our workload. Number of people that apply for this is about 12,000, right? And we have tried to uh, uh, screen and shortlist. For now, we have about uh, 7,200, okay? So those of them who did not fall into this are here trying to force themselves into the hall, which we are resisting. The other category of people, we are people, irrespective of the fact that they read the required subject, but during the a, a period of uh, application, did not put their evidence of age. Because you have to check whether the person is employable under pension uh, arrangement. Uh, arrangement. So these were the bottlenecks we have experienced. And we have asked them to go. And they're asking why they should go. So that's where we are sorting. Apart from this, our hall is so, we, 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 here. We have over 1,000 candidates. And they are seated in the hall. The other area is that some of them could not locate their numbers. Speaking to the ABS, the principal of Igubike Grammar School, Dr. Rafael Anekoku, who wondered why few men applied to teach, judging from the number of women that turned out of the screening exercise, appealed to government at all levels to improve teachers' welfare in order for gender balance across board. In appreciation to Governor Willie Obiano for taking the steps of recruiting teachers, even when other states find it difficult to pay salaries and pensions of civil servants, the principal of girls' secondary school, Oka Lady Winnie Ibezim, noted that apart from the people who had crushed into the venue, the exercise was each free. The zonal director of EPSSC, Ogidi, Mrs. Gloria Maduka, assured that everyone who applied for technical and science teaching will be screened and accommodated if shortlisted, saying that the delay witness is part of teaching problems. Even people with special needs were not left out of the screening exercise organized by the state government as they were seen in one of the labs taking part.